The media wants all Hispanics to see themselves, quote, on the side of the big banks and for the open borders. That's why the media covers up the Santa Cruz riots with illegals with torches, burning down buildings, restaurants, people barely escaping, stabbings, murders, burnings, killings going on the last two weeks all over the country. It only makes it in the local news. You never see it on the national news. This is being done by design. And these Illegal aliens and their supporters really feel righteously wronged. And that's because the media is there telling them anybody who has an American flag, literally, anybody who's for national sovereignty, anybody who wants to control our borders and cut the crime wave that's happening, anybody that doesn't want the states going bankrupt with criminal and, and medical care and welfare, anybody that does that is a racist and evil. Meanwhile, the media and the cultural systems hype up anger and disgust and hatred of America to the point of where high school kids can't even wear American flag Old Navy shirts now in school uh, because uh, in, in many school districts, and I've seen a lot of reports of this, it is found to be offensive. Meanwhile, the illegal aliens all over the country and their supporters pull down American flags at fire stations, at auto repair shops, uh, at... Uh, a, a bunch of famous cases at post offices and run Mexican flags up. You are supposed to become angry about this. You are supposed to not like what's happening. So they're selling you on the fact that it's normal for groups to burn things, it's normal for people to attack, that it's good that they're angry. That ABC News piece in Santa Cruz, everybody they interviewed was like, I think it's good they're burning things. You know, I, I, I understand why they did it. Meanwhile, they're blaming the Tea Parties with wanting to carry out terror attacks and saying they're racist so Hispanics and blacks and others don't feel welcome in joining organizations and groups that want to audit the Fed, that want to cut taxes, that want to secure our borders. And they have the Republicans coming in from the right angle trying to take over the Tea Parties so it can, uh, 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 can be controlled. That's how this is being done. And it enrages me. To, uh, to to see people so self-righteous who have all been played by the media and and hyped into boycotting America and hyped into uh, pushing racism and hatred of white people as if it's good when these other groups do it, but then bad when anybody else stands up for themselves. And that's why I'm so angry today. I mean, here's an article out of NBC. What a whitewash. Students kicked off campus for wearing American flag T-shirts. Freedom of expression or cultural disrespect on Cinco de Mayo. See, if somebody thinks your American flag is disrespectful, you don't get to have it now. But they get to wear their Mexican flags. Well, why are you here if you want to fly Mexican flags? Why don't you want to be an American? I mean, I don't fly English flags or German flags uh, because I've got some of that in my ancestry. It's ridiculous. I am not a hyphenated American. And, and, and the globalists want to destroy our sovereignty. Bill Clinton said we've got to merge the countries for Social Security. Uh, the, 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 uh, for six years, the U.S. government's been paying Social Security payments to Mexico. I mean, this is really going on. This, the country is dying. And they, they've now moved in these giant groups of people. They've taught them to hate America. They've taught them to hate anybody that says, hey, wait a minute. So that it's now a huge political weapon in our country. It has to stop now. No matter what color you are, the Bill of Rights and Constitution and Second Amendment is what we should support because that's what protects us and our families and our future. And the bottom line is, in every poll, over 90% of the illegal aliens and their supporters, it's a religion of hating America, they are for gun control and open borders and more taxes. Okay? So we must stand against this now. I stand up against injustice. This is injustice. This is a mind game. To say the people wearing American flags are the bad ones. And to let illegal aliens all over the country, hundreds of videos on YouTube, beat up veterans groups, 
beat up groups of blacks, whites, and Hispanics out there calling for sovereignty. I mean, in Arizona, in California, m almost every 4th of July parade, even if it has nothing to do with illegals, people get beat up. The illegals come out with their Mexican flags and they beat people up and the cops let them do it. I have played countless videos here. This is outrageous and that was a minority of the Hispanics that were like this. Okay, and I learned about this by, from Hispanic listeners many years ago warning me about it. Okay, but now the media is trying to brainwash and tell all Hispanics they've got to, quote, choose the side of La Reconquista, of La Raza, of the race. And then once they have everybody in a race consciousness, they can attach the entire political agenda to that race consciousness message. Now, I'm going to get into Greece. I'm going to get into the real attack on civil liberties here in the United States. Open calls to arrest any U.S. citizens without trial that the government calls extremist. This is out in the open, being promoted by Chucky e. Schumer, by Bloomberg, uh, by Rahm Emanuel, uh, by John McCain, and by many others. And we have all the legislation. I mean, look at this, S-3081. This is the Detention of Belligerents Act, and it, it just says for any reason the Pentagon wishes citizens could be arrested and never seen again. Okay, and you got the media whining and crying and saying cops if they pull somebody over and have probable cause and ask for ID and, and, and they're illegal, they are to arrest them. Oh my gosh, it's so horrible. What are we doing? We need to stand up for the Bill of Rights. That is in the Bill of Rights. That is what the federal government's supposed to do. But meanwhile, oh, where's the Democratic Party? Where's the Republican Party all upset about all of us citizens being stripped of our citizens' rights whenever a secret military group wants to? Do you see how sickening this is? And they're all over TV saying, you want us to keep you safe from truck bombs? We've got to be able to get rid of due process and habeas corpus. We've got to be able to arrest people and take them away to a dungeon. They've got Border Patrol checkpoints 50, 75, 100 miles under law, up to 100 miles in the entire border. In Vermont, they just pull citizens over and beat the daylights out of them. How many YouTube videos have you seen of them pulling over black people, white people, Hispanics, who speak perfect English, have their ID, and they say, we're going to search your car 100 miles in, and they just beat the living snot out of you. Oh, where's all the civil rights groups on that? Where are they? We're going into a dungeon system, and people from Eastern Europe, not against them, but people from Russia, not against them, people from China, not against them, people from Mexico, Latin America, not against them, but they have grown up with police on the street corners with machine guns and tanks and armored vehicles and surveillance and people disappearing into dungeons. And they're being promised goodies by the government if they'll come here and vote for tyranny. It's very, very simple. This is life and death for this country. Look at your children. Decide, do you want them to be an American or do you want them to be a globalist? Do you stand with the Raza of America, the red, white, and blue? Is that your color? Or is it brown? I have decried the white supremacists because they're federally controlled for division. I have decried the black separatist, nationalist, racist because they're funded by the government in every major case. I have decried the hordes of people pouring across, large percentages of them, totally amped up with hate. And you've got the U.S.-owned, big corporate-owned Spanish radio and TV offering the free food, the free T-shirts, telling them, come out to this big, you know, fun family rally. The gringos want to arrest you. The gringos are racist. The gringos hate you. The gringos want to get you. And they've got these people so mad, they're out there stabbing and burning and attacking. And the media says, that's good. That is mind control. Okay? So it's simple. They plan on us being at each other's throats and having a war. And so if white people and others cow and say, I'm sorry, I'm evil, you're right, slit my throat, I'm bad, I, I, I... If you have that attitude, then the mind control is going to work. See, these people aren't under mind control, folks. They really believe it's their right to come to the most open nation on earth that gives them all this welfare and everything, and that everyone is racist and hates them, and that any Hispanics that decide to be Americans are evil. See, this is an attempt to get that 75, 80% of Hispanics who are bedrock members of this community and wonderful people. 
from my experience and research, I mean, I, it wouldn't even be that bad if we had 30 million illegals here who wanted to be like George Washington's Second Amendment private property. But no, no, that's not how this is going to work. Have you seen the communist revolutions in Latin America? Do you want to live like that? Because that's what the bankers are funding, is a communist-style takeover of this country. There's no longer any doubt about it. And let me tell you, it just outrages me to see people all full of themselves to the point that they're pulling down American flags all over the country. They are attacking police. They are burning down buildings. They are stabbing people. They are killing ranchers every week. They are murdering people. They are murdering their own people. It is just a lawless criminal cauldron south of the border that has completely collapsed. We must. It, it's like if your neighbor's house is on fire, you better get out there and spray water on the side of your house so it doesn't burn down. And I'm here spraying water on the side of the house going, my God, look at that fire. It's, it's starting to light shingles on, on my roof. Oh, I'm trying to put, and they're like, that's racist to be trying to put those shingles out. Uh, you need to you need to throw a few torches into your house. You know, this is this is a wonderful thing we've got here in Mexico.